everybody. Today I'm going to try to show you a bracelet made out of safety pins. I know that it's, it's it is just a fabulous bracelet. Uh, I have worked with this bracelet. I'll show you a picture of what I made my sister. And maybe I'll be talking in that video. So I'm going to show you that right now, right here. Alright, I'm back. Now, uh, I have worked with this bracelet. I have tried to make it, put it on wire. I have tried to put it on thread. I've tried to make it uh, with a clasp. And really, the way I made it for my sister is just the best way to make this bracelet. And believe it or not, it's made out of safety pins. I found this bracelet not on YouTube, but I found it online somewhere. I can't remember. I wish I could. But anyway, so I went and bought me some safety pins. And these little pins are three-fourths, three-fourths inch pins. Look, I got old bad things on my fingers. Don't look at them. But anyway, uh, in the package, it had four different sizes of pins, and this was the smallest pin. But you can make this bracelet any size safety pin you want to make it with. And the things that you will need to do the bracelet are, of course, the safety pins. You will need to put it on a stretch cord wire. I have never worked with this stuff before. Usually I am a, be a seed beater. I, you know, I, I work with thread and occasionally wire, but I have never worked with this stuff and I, I, I have tried to stay away from it. I don't know why I was so prejudiced against it, but <laughs> because now I really like it and I am going to make other bracelets with it. But you will need this. It's a, it's a clear stretch cord. You will need to have some kind of glue. I use E6000, uh, but I guess any kind of glue that is waterproof and that will hold uh, these cords. You will need safety pins. You will need these, these pink beads are the beads that I put on my safety pins. And these silver beads right here are the beads that I put between each safety pin when I string them on the cord. So now what you do is, let me get you down in here close so I can show you how to put the beads on here. It is such a simple bracelet. It really is. It just takes time and you know you can't get aggravated with it. It's just a repetition basically is all it is. So what you do is you take your safety pin, you open it up, and you string, or I wouldn't say string, but you put beads onto your uh, end that's opened up on your safety pin. I forget how many beads I had, I had to, that would fill this side up, probably eight or nine beads. Right there, can you see that? I'm about to lose the light in here. And you just shut that up. Oh, one of them flipped out on me. But there you go. And I'll do you another one. So I think we put nine on here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I believe I can put one more. Nine. There you go. Alrighty, and you just shut that up. And and you keep on making these safety pins like that. And uh, until you think you've got enough to do um, a bracelet. Now, I can't remember how many uh, on this bracelet right here, if I can show you. Let me pull it out a little bit more. On this bracelet, um, I will give you the count on how many... Uh, how many safety pins I used on this? Let me move, let me move it closer to you so you can see it. There you go. Of course, I've got it taped down right here. See that tape right there? It just gives me control. Now, what you do is you take your cord and you put a safety pin. Can I write, hold on just one minute. All right, I'm back. Now, what I did was, I cut, can you see that cord right there? 
I cut me two pieces of cord, probably about 15 inches long. And how you start out stringing this, the safety pins on this cord is, you uh, take you, let me put you down now. All right. You start out with a silver seed bead. And usually I bead on a needle, but I'm just beading just on the cord. You take it and put your silver seed bead on there. You put, you got two holes in your safety pin. You got a hole up here and a hole down here. And you have to lay your safety pins opposite of each other. So if you've got the, if you have got, you start off with a, the bottom at the top, then you've got to put the top at the top on the next one. And then you have a, a, a bottom at the top. You have to zigzag them like that, okay? And the only thing I can tell you is just make sure, just watch what you're doing. I have put two beads in between safety pins. I have put two tops together, and then I have to take it all out. So just, just sit and relax, and just pay attention to what you're doing. So, okay, I've got a bead there, and I'm putting uh, this uh, cord through that. I'll come, we'll pick up another silver bead. See that? And I'm going to put a top. A top on there. Okay. Okay, you see right there I'm having problems. Okay, I got that through there pretty good. Alright, let me show you what it looks like. And another thing, you have to make sure that you're putting your pink beads all on the same side. <laughs> I was making this bracelet, and I put a, I put this part, the back part, against one of the pink beads, and I had to take it all out. So what I'm saying is just take your time and, um, you know, pay attention to what you're doing. It's a simple bracelet, but you can mess up real easily. All right, the next one is we got to take a silver bead like that. Silver bead like that. And then we had a top there, so we're going to put a bottom. The hole at the bottom there. All right, and you just continue to do that until you've got the length of your bracelet that you need. And then when you do that, what I do is I always have, uh, I have it taped down right here. I always have one end taped down. And then, you know, I don't have to worry about all this that I've put on slipping out. So I have it taped down. And when I get like the eight or seven and a half, eight inches, whatever you need, then you take another cord. And I should have cut another cord. Just one second. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay, then you take your next cord that you cut the same length. You know, I told you I cut two cords about 15 inches. And you start off with the silver bead, just like you did at the top. Put your silver bead down here. And then what I would do is I would take the tape and be sure and tape both those sides down right there. So it would give you an anchor and they won't fall off. So you put a silver bead there just like you did at the top, and then you go down here and pick this bottom up. And you put this cord. Now I've not got it taped down, so. Put that cord through there. And bring it down. And see what you got here? You've got two silver beads. And you've got your safety pin connected, okay. Then you push your bead down that you already have strung on the top. You pick up another silver bead on the bottom cord. Bring it down. Then you take your next safety pin and you put it through there. And you push them together. Remember, these, these two are tied down with tape. I should have tied that down. And I think I will. I'll just tie that down so it'll just give me more control. 
I'm sorry, I'm doing this. I'm doing this rather late, and um, I'm losing the light in this room. But um, I thought I would make this bracelet easier and have most of it done so I wouldn't make such a long video. There, tape that down. And here's your top cord. Let me move these beads out of the way. There's your top cord, and you scoot that down. There's your bottom cord, and you've already got two safety pins on your bottom cord. So now you take another silver bead, you string that silver bead on that cord, stretchy cord. Then you take your next safety pin, and you put it through the top of that safety pin. And you just continue in this manner. Let me get that bead out of the way. You continue in that manner. You see how that's going? You just go uh, each bead, each safety pin is, is laid this way with a bead in between. Alrighty. I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. Um, I do have to put a couple more. Let me take this out. I've got this bracelet. It's I'm gonna make it for my size, but this bracelet I'm going to give away. Maybe I shouldn't make it as large as what I what I wear, but I am going to give this bracelet away in a giveaway. So what I've got it, I've got it at a size eight and a quarter. Let me go ahead and put one more. A safety pin on there so maybe you understand a little bit better what I'm trying to do. Let me move my camera over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put another bead, silver bead, on this cord right here. And I've got the top of the safety pin on this one so i got to put one. i got to put the bottom of it the bottom of the safety pin. Oh, I'm losing my light. Alrighty. On my bottom cord, I'm going to put a silver bead on. And I'm going to take the bottom of this bit of this safety pin and put my cord through my through the top of my safety pin. Just like that. Just like that. Really, it is just a repetition of putting seed beads on your safety pins and then stringing these safety pins up, down, up, down with a bead in between. It's very simple. So, I will tell you this. <clears throat> Let me move you back over. On this side, let's see. On this side, I have got the head of the safety pin down. On this side right here, the head of the safety pin is up. And when you put this bracelet together, that's how it's got to be. On one side, it's got to be up and down, just like you did throughout the bracelet. I hope I'm making sense. It doesn't make sense to me, but I, it doesn't sound like I'm making sense to myself. But I hope you understand what I'm saying. And then you have to put, you have to have a bead in between this safety pin and the one over here on this other side. So that's what I've got. I've got two beads right here. Now, and I don't have any beads on this side. Now I'm going to flip this bracelet over because I have found that uh, when you tie this bracelet together, it's best to do it with the back toward you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, this top cord and my other top cord and I'm going to go right over left and pull. Let's see. No, I'm doing it wrong. See? I, I'm not... <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Let's turn it back over. Tie it this way. That's right. Tie it with just one second. 
I lost my boot over here. Lost my safety pin over here. And you know what I did when I put that last safety pin on? I put the beads, the pink beads, I didn't put them in the right. See, it's talking to you, not paying no attention. And it will happen when you make this bracelet, you really got to pay attention to what you're doing. Alrighty. I'm sorry, it's probably out of camera what I'm doing. I said I was going to get better at these tutorials, didn't I? <laughs> now, now, here's the way you tie it. Because when you tie it this way, then the knot and everything is going to be on the back side of your bracelet. So when you have your bracelet strung, you bring this top cord up, and you put it right over left. And you pull. See, that's the back side of the bracelet. And then I'm going to do a surgeon's knot or a double knot. Go through there once. Go through there twice. And make sure you've got it tight. Pull tight. Alrighty. Now, come to this other end. It's the bottom, but I've turned it to the top. We're going to go right over left. I hope you can see this because I about lost the light. Right over left. And you pull. You pull. Okay, then I'm going to do a surgeon's knot. Two loops. And you pull. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more knot. And same thing on this side. One more knot. Well, I guess you can put as many knots as you want to in it. But I think I've got enough knots. A knot. Now you keep that pull. You pull that tight. See, it's not one to stay. Let me, do, let me do it right over left again. I know it'll stiff and do that. Just knot it up until you see it's on there pretty tight. Alrighty. Now, on. Well, that one's not sound. I need to do another knot on top of it. I guess you just can't make one knot. You have to make. You gotta put make a double knot. Alrighty. Now what I would do is I would take my E six thousand and I would put a I would glue these knots really good and let it dry and then I would clip as close to the knot as I could. I'm not going to do that right now, um, but that's what I did with my sisters. And, you know, she loved her bracelet. She, she thought, it's amazing how good it looks. Now, let me turn this over. Now, if you just can imagine this bracelet without let me pull you back. There. And here you just slip it on. It is such a pretty bracelet. I love it. I love it that it's made out of safety pins. I hope that I was coherent in, in this video. I, I'm having a hard time really doing close-up work and um, trying to get everything in the camera. And I hope that you understood what I was saying. If you don't, just leave a comment and I will try my best to explain it to you how I made this bracelet. Uh, this bracelet will be given away in a week. I will take all the comments I get on this video and I'll put the names in the hat and I'll have James draw and somebody will receive this bracelet and I hope that they enjoy it. All right, everybody, this is Melissa and I'm beating from up in the holler. Bye, everybody.